Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to our week 4 battle versus Maiden Dude or Rajan Rhydons. Now, I do skip our week 3 battle, it might get uploaded, but due to it being on showdown and I can't find it at the moment, I've decided to upload a week 4 battle instead. And this is a very tough team. Uh, Rishad Rhydon or Ab is a, one of those players that play very very good defensively. And I can definitely be easily checked here because he has no low in 9 tails. And considered I have a full rain team, this is something I do not play well with. So we see Alola Nigel, Slow Romila with uh, Asolvest um, Mach for sure is what I'm thinking. Landers, which very well could be uh, his C user, and Mega Mobile, which definitely did not need it to be in this league, uh, is a very tough Pokemon to deal with. And with Aurora Veil, it might just be impossible for me to win. That said, though, my team is pretty darn cool. We have a Scarf specially oriented uh, Cobalion, Mega Swampert fully offensive, Pelipper fully defensive, Flodius leftovers. Uh, with the Moonblast, Hidden Power Ground, Cabotops with uh, Mystic Water, uh, and then I do believe we have a Joshua Berry, Lodicolo to be able to take a Freeze Strike from the Lola 9 plus, plus we Hidden Power Steel to secure a KO on it, uh, if it doesn't go for Auroville. Now, I felt my honest, best possible lead here was Kubelion. Force him out no matter what, because it seems like Aurora Veil is such a good notion to be starting off with. So, with that in mind, that is what I'm going to go for, and basically hope to be able to win. Like I said, this is a tough matchup, and whether or not we can win or lose is very much up to how badly Ab is playing, to be completely honest. So, from the get-go here, we will get a really, really honest chance here to actually strike the Lola Ninetales as it leads up with that. And I'm gonna go directly for the Flash Cannon, I do believe that was my overall strongest play, as it's gonna switch out to Judge Roger, the Landorus. And we're gonna do a hefty amount of damage, since of course, thinking that we are possibly, of course, um, offensive, which we aren't. Sadly, though, we don't get a special defense drop, and quite frankly, I think that's good too, because that would have meant Slowbro would come in no matter what. And uh, Residuo might actually force a KO here, but I'm not gonna risk it as I'm bringing Quack. Uh, because Drizzle is nice, getting Hail and all the Drizzle damage gone, as he goes for Stealth Rock, which was kind of ballsy on his side, because I'm pretty sure Flash Cannon plus Hail was in range of killing him, but yet here he is as he's switching back to Snow White, and uh, I do believe I directly go for a damage here. Uh, yeah, I go directly for Skull, and I'm actually going to secure a burn here, and we do a good amount of damage because we get a crit burn, which is so nice. And uh, from this point out, of course, Aurora Veal is gonna come, and there's really nothing you can do to stop it. If he carries it, this is what's going to go down, as I can just bring in Flodius. And Flodius' main perk here, Semi, is actually to just stop the hail. Since he has Rain Dance, we have Left Earth Move Blast and uh, Hidden Power Ground, I believe. We have a filler move, but I can... I think it is an ever or something like that. We have a weird filler move, right? Really, really, no, we have Wish. We, of course, have a wish. I'm pretty sure of that. As he switches out, he goes to Iron Maiden, which is this thing. And quite frankly, there's really nothing I can do. Like, I get the rain up, which is awesome in every way. But, uh, I mean, if this is a substitute set, I can't stop this thing from setting up. And quite frankly, it's it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare for sure. As I switch in 5-4 on my Kubillion, Trying to soak any type of hit that he's gonna go for me, and I really thought I could. Not gonna lie, I really thought I can soak a hit here, as he goes directly for the play rough. I cannot soak a hit from this thing, and I get attack decrease, which doesn't matter, but he's definitely gonna go for Sucker Punch now, so I'm gonna bring Befelgo, my Swamp Bird, predicting that Sucker Punch, because quite frankly, I kinda need to. But no, he goes for Substitute, and I was like, oh, fucking really? Um, I mean... Shit, just went down the drain, and um, I really just gotta go to Swapper. I, I gotta go for Earthquake. Even player is gonna hurt me, but at least I have the chance to hurt him somewhat and break the sub. But we are in a predicament here, which really, really does push me over the edge here. As it goes for play rough, it does boil us down to 15 HP, which is incredible, and I am not gonna fall for that sucker punch. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rock. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a pussy like that, and I really just want to stall out any Aurora Veil turn, as we find out, you know, this is likely, this is likely indeed, and I can just go to Quack, and um, my prediction here is basically to hope it keeps going for Sucker Punch as it turns kind of wheel out, but he's definitely going to pull a switch out here, going to Judge Roger, now, I did not make a strong play here, um, he definitely was going for the C-Fly, 
and I definitely failed to switch out. I should most certainly had sacked Cobalion or Swampert here because quite frankly it is such an obvious play and I feel so stupid for staying in because this means not only that it wins the Weather War, it also means that he can set up a Roar Veil again and it's just not something I really want to do as I'm gonna bring Don Aquilio, the monster that is Lore Colo and I do believe I go directly for a Skull here as it brings Acid and I do not fear Acid, uh, I really really needed a Skull to burn on this guy uh, sadly, we don't get it. The Skull is definitely a fair amount of damage. Had a Hydro Pump, I probably would have 2 it KO this thing. Uh, this was the Black Sludge over um, the. Um, what do you call it? Um, sorry. Black Sludge over uh, Assault Vest. So, with that said, though, we don't score a burn here. He gets knockoff damage on me, and quite frankly, and sadly, um, we do get a lot of residual damage onto us, which is really unfortunate because I do believe had I had Hydro Pump or we burned him. I would have been in a much better position. Now, Snow White comes in, and of course, due to the hail, it is back. There is really nothing we can do to stop this, and if it goes to Aurora Vale, there are five more turns of hate. As I gotta save Don Quilio, I'm actually gonna bring Andius, because my best play here is to make sure that the hail stops, because I have so many Pokemon that are weak to their single damage. Now, sadly, um, we do get some lag here from the game, which is awesome, but not only that, um, like I said here, we can't really stop him from going for Aurora Veil, vale. there's really nothing I can do. And uh, this means that, you know, remember Mowile? Yeah, it's it's back. Uh, well, I do get Rain up again, which is going to be benefiting for me. Um, we do have a lot of Pokemon here, which are weak to, I really can't say this enough, that are really weak to the Sucker Punches due to us getting whittled down so heavily on every Mon. And um, yeah, there's just, there is really nothing really we can do. As I'm gonna switch into Felgor, I'm basically sack playing it at the moment because I need just to stall out turns. It goes for Encore and the burn will take him out. So that's alright. This means most certainly that he's gonna bring in his uh, Cuddly, which is not what I was predicting. <laughs> so at this point, I felt, you know, I can probably force him out a little bit. We're gonna go for Earthquake. We are fully offensive people. And with Aurora Veil, this is not even touching him as he goes for Trick Room. And tr trust me, guys. That that was the GG. That was the GG clock ringing because I was really, really preserved my Lodicolo for the slow road. Giga Ring would definitely probably save me, but now I no longer had that option. But not only that, the worst part about this is there's I, re I really can't stop anything here. I really can't stop anything. Uh, anything he does from here on out is just gonna ruin us. I am basically trying to play for differentials and just hope to survive anything he throws at me. Now the rain will stop. And uh, it is what it is. At this point, I really am out of option. I'm gonna decide to switch out and basically sack Fifehorn as um, he goes for a stronger play here and goes to substitute. I mean, there was really no reason for him not to do it. So I really had to play in mind. I need to preserve my um, sorry that I needed to preserve my um, my Lord of Colo to the very end. Therefore, I decided to kind of play this game rather badly. And I'm going to bring Kenshiro here, and my best play here, just go for Aqua Jet, break the substitute. Uh, we can definitely do that. I, oh, I went for Waterfall. I was, I was, I was cocky as all hell. Um, all right, so we break the substitute. That's nice. As it goes with Player Off, that's going to KO. I mean, there is really nothing to it. As poor, poor Kenshiro falls. And Aurora Veil finally goes away, which means that I can most certainly go for Hidden Power Ground. But at this point, the game is already over. And uh, the Mega Mobile really, 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 really needs to not be in leaks because it just puts so much offensive momentum. And with Aurora Veil, there is so little things I can do as Judge Roger come in. And actually, Landers T was not necessarily a threat towards my team at all. But in this environment, it became something else. And as you guys will see, this is the wrap up. And Maiden Dude or Ab will win this game. Uh, what is that trio? Keeping Slowbro, Melwes, and Lando alive. And yeah, I mean, what else can I say? I I don't think I had an honest chance of winning this match. And once 5-4 on my Kovalian was whittled down, I really had no chance of winning this match whatsoever. So yeah, what else can I say? GG to, of course, uh, Ab here. Uh, to be honest here, going into his wife of Bell, no, I definitely didn't believe I could win. Uh, once, you know, our role was keep going, I was really pressured but not being able to do anything about it. I couldn't have speed her. Of course, the monster that was um, this Alola Nitals. And once a roll was active, it was really nothing I could do to pressure Mobile. Mobile is not necessarily 
a lot of bulk into it. But the thing is, it can take a few hits, at least two before falling. And now with Aurora Veil, yeah, that kind of doubled. And just overall, I don't think I played badly, but I didn't do anything to stop him either from playing. Playing the obvious plays that always go into work. Um, next game, I probably will reconsider what I'm doing against him because, quite frankly, um, I know he plays the longer game, I'm, and I need to get on that too. I can't wrap up early with uh, with Rashad or um, <laughs> with Ab at all, and I am fully aware of that. And the last time we battled in the Battle of Pokemon League, we I played a longer game, and I won that barely do a few good predictions. I didn't have that option this time, and quite frankly, if I don't have that option, Ab is going to ruin me, and he most certainly did. So, Ab, thank you so much for the battle, and I really, really hope best of luck in the next in the league. I myself is going to be able to hopefully get another win here because I I really need it. And this this was a tough game, and I do not look forward to face you again. Hope you get knocked out and play off before we face each other again. If we face each other, I'm just saying that every other team is better than my team versus yours. Alone, Nightly just put so much work on my team. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.